Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you the top 3 mistakes beginners make in After Effects and how to avoid them easily. Let's begin. A common question I get is why stabilized motion or camera tracking is not working when you enable time remapping. Let me show you that mistake and then how to avoid it. I will enable time remapping and then quickly create a speed ramp. So now for example I'm done with speed ramping and I want to stabilize the video or track camera to add some effects. Let's click on stabilize motion first. And here we go, After Effects says that it can't track a time remapped layer. We must turn it off or pre-compose the layer after what it will work fine. Let's click on track camera as well and check the error message. And here we got the same. So, let's pre-compose that time remapped layer. It's important to check move all attributes here and then hit OK. Let's check now if stabilize motion and camera tracking are working. And now you know how to avoid those mistakes and let's jump to another one. And this one is popular as well. Cause I've been getting tons of messages on Instagram with screenshots showing roto brush issues. Let's select a roto brush tool and double click on a video and then try to rotoscope. And here we got that yellow error message. That means your clip's frame rate doesn't match the composition's frame rate. Let's now delete roto brush effect and then check the frame rate of the clip, and then check the composition's frame rate as well. The clip's frame rate is 59.94 FPS and now let's press Ctrl plus K and see composition's frame rate. My composition FPS is set to 30 and that's why I'm getting an error while rotoscoping. Let's change it to the same as the clip, in my case it is 59.94 and then let's try rotoscoping again. And here we go, it's fixed and now we can jump to another one. Third most common mistake is a graph type mistake. This is the most important one, and it's essential that you know how to use it. Let's make a quick speed ramp and then I will show you what I mean. In case you are new to AE and want to learn how speed ramps are made, Check this video's description I will leave a tutorial link there. A lot of you are adjusting curves incorrectly in the graph editor because you're using the edit speed graph. If that's you, it's time to stop. Make sure to change graph type to edit value graph. Now simply create a basic curve that speeds up the clip, slows down in the middle, and then speeds up again at the end. Now you know how to fix some common mistakes in After Effects and I hope this video helped. If you want more tutorials on mistakes and how to avoid them, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.